Yo, hey, what's going on? Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks. Yes, the alcoholic Autobot. Yeah, did you see that title up there? Fire Emblem Gaiden 2. My thoughts. Ugh. I've actually ROMed this game for quite a few years. And I never found a correct patch to it. And every time I would go to fight in Doma's Tower, which is the last uh, spa uh, couple boards at the end of the game. Stages, matches, I mean everyone calls them a little something different. It would definitely freeze on... God, I can't believe... C Cecilia, is that how you pronounce her name? I might be wrong on how you say her name. But when you're on her side, I'd get to like the third board when I'm inside Doma's castle or tower or whatever it is, and it would freeze. And then I, you know, looked on a certain uh, torrent site and I found all the Fire Emblems in English. And I posted a video about that actually a couple of months ago. And I finally was able to play it and beat it. I've been playing it since... 05 or 06 and we're at 20, 20 I actually beat it in December 2012 before Christmas I will say that and I don't know why this one stands out to me this is so far my favorite of the Fire Emblem series uh, number two is Path of Radiance number three is one of the Game Boy Advance games I don't remember which one Fourth would be the GameCube game. God, what is that one called? I don't know why it's blowing my mind. And then last would be Shadow Dragon, the DS remake. Oh, excuse me. Of uh, the very first Fire Emblem. And this, this game's a little weird, I guess, than the rest of the Fire Emblem series. It makes it feel like... A Super Mario Brothers 2 or a Legend of Zelda 2 in that sense. As to when you get a level 10, you have to go see a Mira statue, which I guess is the goddess of the game, to promote your character, which is a little different, I guess, because isn't it in every other series? When you get to level 10 or level 20, you get promoted or unless you have to wait till you can promote yourself out of a battle sequence it's been a while since I played the Wii version I don't think I actually have it anymore and on the, also magic when you heal somebody when you're a priest or I, there's another word also when they up when they get promoted or before they're promoted it's a sister, sister and a priest or something like that. When you use, you know, the heal spell, it actually drains their life. But they start off with Nasfioro or whatever that is to take the life back. They most of the are every one of those that you find will, can do that, and they're all females too, which is kind of weird. Maybe it was like that in uh, Shadow Dragon, but I don't remember. It also Magic defense in this game is literally non-existent unless you are a magic user yourself. And it's even worse, of course, if you're uh, an armored knight. It's sad sometimes. You get in situations. Or in, what is it, a baron or something like that, which is like the top tier class of armored knight or... Uh, you know, those classes are so differently named in the series that they totally kill in my mind. But, you know, you, you take one of them, you got still like 48 uh, hit points. I guess the maximum you can have on the bar is 52, I think it is. And you can take two hits from a, a wizard and be almost dead. It's It's really sad. Also, the weapon triangle I don't think is there at all. Where, uh, sword beats a lance, oh wait, lance beats a sword, sword beats an axe, and axe beats a lance. Yeah, that triangle, that, I think it's non-existent in this game as well. And items do not, when you get a weapon, you know, it's got like the 
so many times he can use it till it breaks. That that's not even existent in this game. You actually start out with uh your basic weapon, and you can get like certain upgrades in the game for either weapon, armor, magic, a certain speed rings, or other rings that like prevent magic damage and stuff like that. But you can only have one of those items per character, which also puts a little bit different element to it. And if you start off in the regular version, like if you don't hold select or start or something when you start a new game, and you pick the regular version, which I did do, your your experience points are like almost half compared to what it is on easy version, which makes leveling up pretty fucking tedious in the game, to be honest. I am I was finding myself going back into bases and, or whatever the parts of the mirror statue is, and doing those battles over so many times just to be able to beat the next stage. Like, I died so many times. And I don't like playing a Fire Emblem game where a character dies. If a character dies, I reset, like, from the last time. I don't play that shit. Just, uh, my quick thoughts on Fire Emblem Gaiden. You can find it. On the ROM link, I'm going to throw that below. If you also have uh, Famicom, it's on Famicom. I don't have, own a Famicom, so yeah, it, it was a little bit cheaper that way. I hate to say that I play ROM sometimes, but I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. So yeah, you know what you gotta do. You like what you see? Subscribe. What do you think about Fire Emblem? Let me know below. There's those new Fire Emblem games coming out. There's that crossover for the Wii U with uh, whatever the series you know evolved into the Persona, which I don't know anything about the other thing. It's a crossover, and I'm, that blows my fucking mind. Uh, I don't have a 3DS, and there's the game that came out for the 3DS in Japan. It's finally get localized, so I guess I gotta buy a 3DS. Fuck, and I yet wanna... Turbografx 16, a Commodore 64, and what the fuck else did I say? Well, a Dreamcast too. Those, are, that's what, those are my next consoles in my mind. So yeah, I gotta make a video about that. So yeah, fucking do what you gotta do. Comment below, video response, whatever. Drink the fuck one on me. Hell yeah, rock the fuck on.